cloudy, overcast, foggy, cold, 43. Plenty of mist coming out of my mouth from the cold. It's acting very much like a normal winter here in Northern California at this time. Let's talk about the Greenland ice sheet. It's melting faster than ever before. For the first time in human history, rain fell at its summit. Yes, rain fell in Greenland's summit. By the end of the melt season, the ice sheet lost more ice than it gained. So it's in, in the big scheme of things, it's losing ground. We're melting. So this uh, losing ice has been happening for over 25 years consecutively. Greenland lost a net total of 166 gigatons of ice from September through August of 2020. Annual snowfall accumulation was good this year. Ice loss from iceberg calving and ocean melting from below was the highest since at least satellite records began in 1986. From September of 1968 to August of 2021, the Greenland ice sheet loss lost around 5,500,000 gigatons of ice. That is an equivalent of one point five centimeters of global average sea level rise or about a half an inch of sea level rise from Greenland. So Greenland can change on this um, just one really cold night. It could freeze everything up and you know stop the melting for a long time but that's not happening. We're getting warm storms heading up into Greenland and causing more melt than accumulation. This year is a little different. They had the normal accumulation of snow. That it should have. But we'll have to see what happens next year. Huh. So what's your thoughts on the melting of the Greenland ice sheet? Do you think we have much time left? I would guess in my lifetime we'll see ocean levels, sea level, rise another one half inch. It's the future that's really going to regret that the uh, that the ancestors let global climate change get so out of control and out of hand. I appreciate all the ups, the downs, and new subscribers. And until next time.